Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, March 21st, 2017, and I hope everyone's having a beautiful day in the Lord. I have a couple of devotionals for you today, but first, I'd like to say the Our Father, so please join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay, this one's called are you spiritually exhausted? And um, from Isaiah 40, 28 says, The everlasting God neither faints. Exhaustion means that our vital energies are completely worn out and spent. Spiritual exhaustion is never the result of sin, but of service. Whether or not you experience exha exhaustion will depend on where you get your supplies. Jesus said to Peter, quotes, feed my sheep. But he gave him nothing with which to feed them. We can read about that in John 21, 17. The process of being made broken bread and poured out wine means that you have to be the nourishment for other people's souls until they learn to feed on God. They must drain you completely to the very last drop. But be careful to replenish your supply or you will quickly be utterly exhausted. Until others learn to draw on the life of the Lord Jesus directly, they will have to draw on his life through you. You must literally be their source of supply until they learn to take their nourishment from God. We owe it to God to be our best for his lambs and sheep as well as for him. Have you delivered yourself over to exhaustion because of the way you have been serving God? If so, then renew and rekindle your desires and affections. Examine your reasons for service. Is your source based on your own understanding or is it grounded on the redemption of Jesus Christ? Continually look back to the foundation of your love and affection and remember where your source of power lies. You have no right to complain, quotes, O oh Lord, I am so exhausted, unquote. He saved and sanctified you to exhaust you. Be exhausted for God, but remember that he is your supply. Quotes, all my springs are in you, unquote. And that's from Psalms 87, 7. This one is, um, is your ability to see God blinded. And this quote is from Isaiah 40, 26. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. The people, in God, the people of God in Isaiah's time had blinded their mind's ability to see God by looking on the face of idols. But Isaiah made them look up at the heavens. That is, he made them begin to use their power to think and to visualize correctly. If we are children of God, we have tremendous treasure in nature and will realize that it is holy and sacred. We will see God reaching out to us in every wind that blows, every sunrise, every sunset, every cloud in the sky, every flower that blooms, every leaf that fades, if we will only begin to use our blinded thinking to visualize it. The real test of spiritual focus 
is being able to bring your mind and thoughts under control. Is your mind focused on the face of an idol? Is the idol yourself? Is it your work? Is it your idea of what a servant should be? Or maybe your experience of salvation and sanctification. If so, then your ability to see God is blinded. You will be powerless when faced with difficulties and will be forced to endure in darkness. If your power is to, to see has been blinded, don't look back on your own experiences, but look to God. It is God you need. Go beyond yourself and away from the faces of your idols and away from everything else that has been blinding your thinking. Wake up and accept the ridicule that Isaiah gave to his people and deliberately turn your thoughts and your eyes to God. One of the reasons for our sense of futility in prayer is that we have lost our power to visualize. We can no longer see, no, we can no longer even imagine putting ourselves deliberately before God. It is actually more important to be broken bread and poured out wine in the area of intercession than our personal contact with others. The power of visualization is what God gives a saint so that he can go beyond himself and be firmly placed into relationships he never before experienced. Yeah, um, as we can see now, a lot of us have are experiencing distraction in our minds. We're being pulled away by uh, many, many different things. And uh, I myself um, noticed this the last couple of weeks. Uh, where before my attention was so uh, powerfully zoomed in on the Lord, whether it be listening to a pastor or reading the Word, um, it um, I I was amazed at how empty my mind was and focused. And now in the last couple of weeks, I find it hard to keep my thoughts focused on the word when I'm reading it or when I'm listening to a sermon and uh, that has got to be the devil that has got to be the devil and he's ramping it up if you have if you have any tendency in you to get distracted on maybe something even that you had um, that the Lord had purged from you you know some kind of sin you were walking in and you no longer have that because you're transformed uh, you may find yourself wandering your thoughts wandering back to it um, you may find yourself um, thinking of what you're going to do later uh, while you're listening to a prophecy update you know <laughs> it, this is what's been happening now uh, it's Satan's last-ditch effort to steal the crowns off the heads of God's anointed. Um, all I can tell you right now is to pray for focus. Ask the Lord to keep you off of anything that could possibly draw you to an idol. And uh, keep yourself focused and um, zoomed in on the word of the Lord. Let's, let's pray a little bit. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day. Thank you for the anointing and thank you for these ministries, Father, and all those who are listening. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this video and all the videos that speak your words may your words go and speak to whoever it is father whose ears you've opened 
Let them absorb the word, Father. Let them understand. Give them knowledge, understanding, and wisdom, and strength, Father, to endure the onslaught in these last days. Father, we ask that you rally your children together to make a love circle, Father, to keep the enemy at bay and protect your children from persecution and assaults. We love you, Father. We are all waiting for you. We're looking up. Every day, Father, we're looking up and waiting for you to come and take us home. We love you, Father. We belong to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming very soon. Very soon. I love you.